Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we are going to be building this house. And I should say right off the bat that this is not a house that I, for all intents and purposes, designed myself. There was a post on the Minecraft subreddit recently by a person named OG Sphere, which I will link in the description, and I highly recommend you read because it's actually a pretty good tutorial on the fundamentals of building to begin with. Uh, but basically, it was a post about modular houses for villages, and the idea is you take boxes and you put them down, and then you add details to them, and you end up with houses that are very, very configurable and still look really good. So this is pretty much one of those houses here, and I just kind of wanted to show it off and give you a chance and basically highlight that post because it's a really one of the better posts I've seen on building uh, for quite a while if you're not super, super familiar with all the fundamentals of building. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So the first thing to do is to lay out the boxes, and I'm going to use snow for this, but we're going to make a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 box right here. We're then going to make a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 5 box that connects to it. And then we'll have a 7 by 7 box. So we'll go 1, 2, and then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So this box is seven. Oh, actually, I think it's seven by eight. Yeah. Seven here. Seven here. But then this wall would make it eight. So this is the shape that we have, right? Pretty straightforward. Now, we're going to go ahead and start building those up. So this box is going to go up five high. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And we can just go ahead and kind of frame these out. Might make it a little easier to visualize. Like this. This box is going to go even higher than that. So this one is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 high. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Oop. And... We'll build it around like so. This is kind of the tower shape thing. And then this one is going to be three high. So one, two, three. One, two. And we'll frame this guy out as well. And you can kind of see here how the boxes form the house, right? So we've got boxes. Looks pretty straightforward so far. Now, let's just go ahead and fill in all of those walls. We'll just use the snow, and we'll go in later and knock out windows and all that kind of stuff. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and fill in all the walls like this. There we go. Oh, I'm misplacing things. And same over here. Oh, there we go. And I think that's pretty much all of them. We've just got this guy here, like so. Okay, and then right off the bat, I'm just going to knock out that and that, because those are going to be our doors that lead into these other rooms, and they'll be a little easier. It's a little easier to do that now at this phase than it would be for a different phase. Okay, so we're good there. Now... Um, let's go ahead and do the floor real quick. We're just going to go ahead and tear this bit up and replace it with sandstone. And then I'm going to knock out a door right here. And we'll, pro we'll replace the interior floor with sandstone as well. You can use whatever materials you want. The purpose of that post and of this build is not to say use these materials. It's, it's really more about shape and function. Uh, or I should say shape and form and flow than it is about any sort of specific tutorial, which I think is a good thing. So, there we go. I'm just going to put sandstone in here like that. Beautiful. All right. Now we get to the roof, and this is where things, this is where it really kind of all comes together. 
So we're basically going to design a roof for all of these. So we'll take this out using slabs, using the uh, acacia slabs here, and we're just going to build them up at a half slab angle, just like this, going all the way up until they reach a peak, right? Pretty easy. Nothing, nothing too amazingly difficult here. And we'll just build those all the way over like so. There we go. And then in the spots where we need to, we'll fill in some of these slabs because it's the only way it's going to work. Right? So we do something like that. Then on this roof, we do the same thing right over here. Like that. Like this. Up until it hits a peak. And then bring it back down. And yep, those will have to be like so. There we go. So we get something like that. And then up here we'll do another very similar roof. Just like this. So same thing. And the idea is you're you're basically creating interest with these shapes. You're making sure that uh, there are different shapes and different levels of elevation, different levels of depth, all that kind of stuff, so that the house ultimately looks interesting once you're all done. Um, and the the different the differing elevations is actually really really important uh, because that's what makes this house look interesting is the fact that you have a roof on several different elevations. So you've got one here, you've got one down here going out this way, you've got, you know, you see what I'm saying? Makes it a lot more interesting. Now let's just take a couple of spruce fences and do something like that, I think. Ooh, I just realized that I derped up this house, but that's okay. It's fine. It's a modular house. It doesn't really matter if it's a little derpy. And then we'll just knock out some windows... Um, actually, let's do windows here and here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We'll just knock out some window space. Maybe we'll put a window inside the house to see into the other room. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. We can put a window there. We can put windows up here like this. And I think that one we're probably going to want to do from the outside because we want a window right there. There we go. So we get something going like that, and that makes a lot of sense, actually. That looks pretty good. Okay, then we just take some glass panes, fill in the windows, like so. And there is a lot more that you can do with this house, by the way. I'm just pointing that out. We do something like that. Window here, window there, window here, windows there. And is that all of the windows? Nope, I missed that one. Did I get these ones? Yes, so we got all the windows filled in. And that's essentially the house in a nutshell, but that was only seven minutes. Like, that's pretty quick. So, let's do some other stuff to make it a, a little bit more interesting. Let's maybe take some leaves and just put some leaves down right there. Um, then maybe, maybe over here we'll do a couple of those as well, just under these windows. Like this, little hedges could be kind of cool. Maybe we do that all along this side out to here and maybe along here as well, just to kind of dress that up a little bit. We can take some of these sandstone blocks and maybe make like a little pathway that leads up. Something along those lines, pretty easy. And I think we should probably put a door on the thing. Just realize there was no door. Here we go, there we go, door. Awesome. Um, and actually, let's actually put a door here and here as well. Just so you have a little bit of privacy, kind of, sort of. I know there's a window that goes between the two rooms, but it's fine. There we go. We'll do something like that. In fact, let's actually close these off so they're their own individual rooms. And then up here, we'll put another floor like this this and I suppose this would probably be the best place to put a ladder to get up there there we go so you can come up here and you can use this space for whatever you want it doesn't really make a difference uh, let's just put a torch there and there that should be fine just so everything's nice and lit up 
and then we'll go and grab a bed. We'll put a bed in here. We could even use this as another bedroom as well. Put a bed up there. Maybe we put a bed in here. This could be like the master bedroom. Maybe we put it up against that wall so we have a little more space to work with. Grab some bookshelves. Maybe put those along in here. This would be the living room, I think. And I think we'll use spruce for furniture. So we'll maybe do like a little couch here. Um, maybe it comes out to there. That should be good. And then we'll put like a little coffee table right there. Uh, actually, that's a little too big. Let's do that. We'll grab ourselves a crafting table and a furnace. Put the furnace and the crafting table there so it has everything you need for your survival house. Maybe we put a chest up against this wall. Just a little sort of thing there. Uh, chest there. Maybe we put a chest here at the foot of the bed. Mm, don't know if I like that. Maybe we'll put it here to kind of... No, I don't like that either. We'll just leave that room alone. We'll put a chest up here. Down here, maybe we put bookshelves coming up this wall, maybe? Mm. I think I... I think I want to move the bed, is what I want to do. There we go. That's a little better. So, just real simple stuff that you can do in here. Um, now, this... Oh, I'm breaking things. This would bother me normally. So, what you could maybe do is take slabs and bring this across so the ceiling in here doesn't look quite so derp. Because it looks kind of derp right now, which is fine. Easy enough to fix up. Just flatten that out. Could do the same up there if you really want to. It doesn't really matter. It's not bad. Um, now, as far as trees go, let's maybe let's maybe go with like an acacia tree. I think that kind of fits this theme here. So let's maybe plant one there. And that thing is huge, but that's okay. I think it's still fine. Just like that. Yeah, it's not bad. It'll do. Uh, we can do a little bit of bone mealing around the area. You know, kind of dress that part up a little bit. Maybe we clear out some of these. I mean, the idea here is really just about the concept more than anything else, as I said. So, there we go. And we should probably break up some of this stuff as well. This is just too much grass. You want to be, like, the. it's good to have the bone meal and to kind of have the grass around, but you don't want it to be completely overboard. And that's what it is right now. So, there we go. And I think I'm going to call that build done at 12 minutes and 4 seconds. So there you have it. A nice, simple little modular house. Nothing too fancy. Definitely check out the post that I linked in the description. I highly, highly encourage it. Uh, you're, you're going to find a whole bunch of different house designs and more importantly, you're going to find some really basic principles of building things that look good. So there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you next time.